Hey y'all, I'm James Farmer, and I want to show you some floral frogs designed by my friend Bunny Williams exclusively for Ballard Designs. You'll find that the floral frog is your foundation to a great arrangement. Whether you're making something low and compact filled with citrus and blooms like this, something that's taller and dramatic, or maybe even something that's traditional with a twist. The floral frog is a great foundation to any flower arrangement. Happy arranging, y'all. James, I've seen these frogs at antique shops, but I'm not exactly sure what they're for. Well, they're really awesome. First off, they are made for flower arranging, but made for flower arranging to be easy, mm -hmm. to be elegant, and make you look like a better floral designer than you really are. Yeah, yeah trust I can me. I use that because <laughs> I'm really good at everything else in life. Of course. Except floral design. Well, let me tell you, this particular frog can be um, modified within the container that it's in. It has this great kind of springing nature and element to it, but you can plop it down into a short container such as this, fill it with water to create a low, beautiful centerpiece like this one. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of an experiment to show you. All right, without the frog, right. if you plop this in, yeah, that's we're, how we're all plopping, of my exactly, are. we're plopping, we're flopping, it's, it's just not staying. Yeah. But let's throw a frog in there Don't and splash. try not to splash. And what the frog does is it helps us give a little bit of foundation and support. So, by having the frog up like that, if I want this arranged right here on the side of the vase, look, it, just stays. it stays there. So, I know. Right, you could, it's cool. You could do that, Karen. Oh, maybe. So, I'm gonna tuck this one in here, and it's staying there. This is kind of our centerpiece that we're gonna work from. Okay, so James, you've made some progress. What is this that you put in here? This is seeded eucalyptus. So, is I love- a tree? It is from a tree and it is a tree that we can actually grow in the deep south. Now, here we have the roses. Now, this is a little fun pop of color to have in this arrangement. I love this color. You know what I call it. What color is it? Carl. Carl. Like a man's name. <laughs> so, the story goes is my mother was working with a decorator and she told the decorator, I love Carl. And the decorator said, well, who is Carl? Ted's your husband. <laughs> And it's the color. So this color in particular, this is ro this rose I love because Carl actually is a beautiful color. Coral, for those of you who may not understand the, yeah, for the honey, out there. for the honey tongued southerners who we understand. But what I love is that this color looks good with so many colors. It looks good with, with oranges, it looks good with lighter reds and pinks and blushes, it looks good with yellows and greens. So roses are wonderful for a low centerpiece. Okay. I do see roses a lot in my grocery store, and yeah. I always look at them and think, that is going to be so ugly, because I feel, I envision roses as like that Valentine's arrangement that you get in the tall, ugly vase. I know, I know. So I'm glad you're going to show me what I can do I'm with show it, because you... it's something I can actually well, buy. Well, it's affordable. You know, for you know, 20 bucks, you can grab you know, a dozen or half a dozen and a half roses at the grocery store. Okay. So I like to arrange roses in threes, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in with arranging one. Whoops and then two, and then three. So this is the three roses there, and then the three of them together has much more of an impact than just one. Did you put no them pressure. All at once? I did, okay. I kind of put them all in at once, right. and you'll feel them kind of get secured in there with oh, the, yeah, with, yeah. With the frog. Just, like, hit the little frog and they hit sit. the little frog and they sit, Perfect. and there you go. Oh my gosh, I'm great. You are so great. I love so, me. look at you, <laughs> I love me too. I love you too. <laughs> So now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of fill in the gaps. Okay, so, here, let's split these up. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is really pretty on its own, but what we're going to do is just kind of elevate it to the next step. Okay. And with that, we're going to use... anything else can fit in there. Oh, you'd be surprised. We can fit a lot more, plus we've got that foundation. Okay. We've got that frog. Okay. If we were just freestyling this with no frog, we were, you know, going, going completely rogue, this would be so topsy-turvy and loose. And let's say that you are in charge of bringing the flowers to a dinner party. Yes. You don't want to take an arrangement that's going to flip all out and back your car. Right. This is solid. Yeah. The frog is supporting it it's all. Heavy. So you need something heavy to support this next step. And for me, you can't get any better than citrus. Lime green is called lime green for a reason because it's a lime and it's green. Shish kebab skewers. It's so smart. I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant. <laughs> what I love is that I tell people I wasn't the last one to fall off the turnip truck, but I was close to it. Anyways, here's, I'm gonna tuck this in here and that is going to, that skewer kind of catches in there, but look how beautiful that That's is pretty. mixed in with the roses. I would never have thought to do that. That is gorgeous. Well, I couldn't have done it without you and my frog. I'm really good at this. You're really, really good at this. <laughs> Are you for hire? 
I need 50 more of these for an event this weekend, so <laughs> get cranking, honey. Well, thank you, Bunny. Yes, Bunny, I think she knows because she also, she gardens and she entertains and she knows what it takes to make a flower arrangement look good. And this looks great, but it would not look as good if it didn't have the support that it gets with a frog and a great container.